time for another celebration. Festivities kick off Sunday for Chinese New Year. And the Chinese put a huge amount of importance on this holiday. It's a time to look ahead at what the next 12 months might bring. So exciting. So we have what you need to know about the coming year and how we got here. And that's our featured story at the top of the list. Chances are you celebrated the new year when the ball dropped on January 1st. But there's another new year days away with the celebration just as exciting. And there's so much joy and so much energy. Everybody gets involved. There's colors, there's lights, there's dancing, there's music. And it goes on for days because this is the beginning of a new era. The Chinese New Year kicks off on January 22nd. So feng shui master and Chinese metaphysics expert Jen Stone tells us what we can expect from the year of the rabbit. But first, what's the significance of the Chinese New Year? You see the ball drop and you toast to the New Year's, but you really kind of just get into 2023 like any other day. But when you kind of have the background and the history like you have in the Chinese calendar, it's so much more powerful. Yes. Well, one thing to remember about the Chinese system, the system itself is very predictable. You can go back to history to understand what happened in the past. You can learn from that. So before we look ahead to the future, we have to look at the past. We look a little bit further back with 2020, which is we know is the year of the pandemic. And the year of the pandemic was really a conduit or the beginning that sort of spiral pushing us to close out a chapter in our life. Then you move into 2021, which I call the year of death. And the year of death just simply means what are areas in my life that represent the dying part? And so sometimes it's I've let go of my addiction or I've let go of that thought or I've let go of that old dream. When we move into 2022, it's the beginning of new things. It's a time for planting seeds. It's a time for recalibration, rethinking things because parts of ourselves have died and we can no longer live or operate in that same space anymore. Which brings us to 2023. Are you optimistic for 2023? Of course I am. I'm always optimistic moving into the year of the rabbit, 2023. And the rabbit represents the full expression of springtime. What does that look like? The animals are having babies and the trees are lush and the flowers are blooming. So you have to ask yourself, of all the work that I've done since 2020, and all those different layers, how am I moving into 2023 as the fullness expression of myself today? Jen also says this will be a big year for relationships. The year of the rabbit has a strong connotation related to relationships, okay? It's the year of healing. It's the year of forgiveness. It's the year of reconnection and re-engagement. Ringing in the Chinese New Year. I am excited and ready for 2023. Yes, ma'am. Bring on the rabbit. I know, me too. Yay. <laughs> Is at the top of the list.